Hi everyone, welcome to today's daily. Before I give you the message for today, I'm going to read the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now come with me, guys, while I get the message for today. Coming out of the book of Ephesians, Ephesians 4, 1 through 8, Unity in the Body of Christ. I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you are called, with humility, gentleness, patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of spirit and bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, one Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each one of us according to the measures of Christ's gift. Therefore, it says, when he ascended on high, he led a host of captives and he gave gifts to men. When the body of Christ is unified, we are able to do more for the kingdom while being a problem for the kingdom of darkness. We are to cover and love one another with the Lord in the center of it all. For the gifts and the calling of God are without repentance. So it's up to us on how we steward it that will make the difference for the whole body while we worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Before you go, if you haven't received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I repent for my sins. I know that I am a sinner and that I cannot save myself. No longer will I close the door when I hear you knocking. By faith, I gratefully receive your gift of salvation. I am ready to trust you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you are the Son of God, who died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead on that third day. Thank you for bearing my sins and giving me the gift of eternal life. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and be my Savior. Amen. Have a blessed day, guys.